Yeah, hi there, GA. This is Michael from OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com, and I'm getting ready to listen to your independent speaking practice test. So I have the actual independent speaking rubrics here, 4321. And I think you're talking, what is your favorite vacation destination and why? No, maybe what is your favorite holiday of the year? I think that's the, the question you're answering, right? Let's listen to your response here. Uh, some vacations are uh, my favorite, actually. Uh, I think okay, so it is. What's your favorite vacation destination or what's your favorite vacation? Explain why you liked it so much. Okay, I got it. Okay, here we go. Uh, some vacations are uh, my favorite, actually. Uh, I think this way for several reasons, but first of all, I'm, I'm in love with swimming. And I think uh, the act of swimming is uh, something is a something that is very f refreshing. And secondly, uh, I generally uh, prefer going to somewhere uh, near seaside. And um, I love exploring this new uh, place and uh, meet local people there. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Yeah, you're not in the three area. The two area. Wow, I don't get many of these. I think you might be in the one area. My goodness. So you have some pretty low speaking skills at this point, right? So... I'm going to say between 1 and 2, I'm going to say 1.5, so I don't know, I'm going to put you maybe at 10 or 12 points out of 30, that's probably what you're doing with right now. And under the description it says, the response is very limited in content, right? You're supposedly talking about a vacation, a vacation that you went on, right? But you don't really name the place, you don't give any details about the place you went to, so... Uh, I think consistent pronunciation stress and intonation difficulties cause listener effort. Delivery is choppy, fragmented, or telegraphic. Frequent pauses and hesitations. Yes, that kind of describes your speech right now. Uh, let's take a look at your, your vocabulary and grammar. Range and control severely limit or prevent expression of ideas and connections among ideas. So some low-level responses may rely heavily on practiced or formulaic expressions. That's why he said, I have two reasons, or I believe this way for two reasons. That's a formulaic expression, so you do have problems in that area. Topic development, limited content is expressed. The response generally lacks substance beyond expression of very basic ideas. So you're not very detailed. You don't get to any, any specifics. You have speaker may be unable to sustain speech to complete the task, may rely heavily on repetition of the prompt. So yeah, that's it. One. I haven't I don't get a lot of ones. I just got one. It's always good to get a lower level response here. So uh let me listen to your response one more time. I'll give you some more comments. Now anybody at YouTube, what do you guys think? Uh, it, this is controversial. Not a lot of people get a one, a score of one. Does anybody disagree? I'm saying maybe the students are around 1.5 between one and two. That's why I would put this response. Uh. Notice the first thing you said is, uh. You start off with that conversation filler. Some vacations are uh, my favorite, actually. But which vacations? Well, if you said, well, the vacation I spent uh, in Dubai, or, or I spent a vacation in Dubai that was really, really memorable for me. Uh, I think this way for several reasons, but... That's a formulaic expression. I think that way for several reasons. First of all... Uh, okay, now, first of all, the first of what? I'm, I'm in love with swimming. 
But swimming, how does that relate to your vacation? Did you go to a beach? Did you go to an island maybe? Maybe you were in Hawaii or you went somewhere in Europe, maybe Greece or something, and you spent time on the island and you like going to that vacation because you're able to swim in the water maybe? And I think uh, the act of swimming is uh, something is a something that is very f refreshing. And secondly, uh, I generally uh, prefer going somewhere. Uh, you say somewhere, but where is it? It's better to give the specifics of it. Look behind me. What do you see? This is the Great Wall of China, right? What if you said, well? A vacation destination that I enjoyed was visiting the Great Wall of China right outside of Beijing. Then you talk about why you like going to the Great Wall. Near seaside. And um, I love exploring this new uh, place and uh, meet local people there. Okay, so maybe... If you took those two ideas that you said at the end, you could flip that, put it in the beginning. You can say something like, a vacation that I enjoy was going to Hawaii because I like swimming and I like to meet new people. Then you say, first of all, I enjoyed going to Hawaii because it, allows, it allowed me to do my favorite exercise, swimming. Then you develop that activity. You explain the different kinds of swimming opportunities you had while you were in Hawaii. And you say, second of all, I also enjoy going to Hawaii because I was able to meet new people. And then you give an example to illustrate that, right? And then pretty much for these reasons, I enjoyed vacationing in Hawaii. Or for these reasons, Hawaii is a memorable vacation destination for me. Okay, so I think that my score is pretty accurate. Again, YouTubers, anybody disagrees, you can go ahead and make a comment below the video. Would you score it higher? I'm saying it's around a 1, a 1 to a 2, maybe 1.5 in the middle there. So maybe 10 to 12 points out of 30. That's the highest I would give it. I've, I've been grading tens of thousands of speaking practice tests, and this is at the lower level. Okay, so for the student, thank you for completing the practice test. Now, my advice to you is this. Uh, I think it's too early for you to worry about the TOEFL exam. Don't even think about that right now. What you want to worry about is building your basic English skills. You need to get your vocabulary a little bit better. You need to improve your grammar so you have a better range of ideas and expression. Uh, I think pronunciation is something that you need to deal with right now. You need to work on trying to speak more clearly. You need to develop your basic reading and listening proficiency and also with your speaking and your writing. So for you, don't worry about TOEFL right now. Focus on the basics, right? Your, your, your level, your English level is too low right now to worry about the TOEFL. That's my advice for you. All right, so thank you for completing uh, this practice test.